I'm currently out and about in a field on my own. Pretty nice weather. But it's dawned upon me that I'm type 1 diabetic. Which means I haven't brought my insulin out with me. I went and parked on the road, went for a wander and got carried away. I intended on just going up a hill, seeing where the footpath went, coming down the hill and getting back to my car. But something about the beauty and the sun and the nature just swung me and made me think, I don't want to stop. I want to keep walking. So I kept walking. One path led to the other. And now, I am marooned in the middle of a field. Uh, I don't feel very good. I feel a bit shaky, a bit dizzy, and a bit like I can't quite think straight. Ergo, hypo. Which kind of means, you know, I'm fucked. Like, I'm not fucked. I'll get back to my car, where there may or may not be sugar, I can't remember. And I'll call a friend if I really need to. But it's just so fucking annoying, isn't it? Like, the fact that I can't just do that, that's not an option, you know, to just go out and be out here. I am totally and utterly dependent on my blood glucose testing kit, my insulin, and in this moment in time, more importantly, a source of sugar or carbohydrate. Another important note is that I manage my diabetes with injections and therefore have a constant background insulin rate from the 24 hour basal insulin injection that I do. But if I'm on a pump, I could turn down my background rate because there's no long acting insulin. It's all short acting insulin with a pump. Um, just being constantly given to simulate a background rate. So yeah, the fact that I'm on injections right now makes this more of a pain in the ass than if I was on an insulin pump. Which I will be on very shortly, actually. So yeah, remembering the life of being on injections. It's more difficult. Right. Uh, I've got to keep walking, but I don't want to. This was dumb. This was a dumb thing that I did. Just this, just this whole situation. Just for clarification, my blood sugar was 11, I think, when I was in my car and I left. I thought, I'm just going up the hill, I'm not doing my insulin. My blood sugar's a reasonable level where I shouldn't become hypoglycemic. Was that 11? Was it 9? 
it was above eight for sure. Might sound funny not knowing what your blood sugar is. Being like, you did that test, why can't you remember? You test your blood sugar between five and ten times a day. Trust me, it all blurs together. You get a feel for it. Blood sugar is okay or not okay, fundamentally. I can finally see my car. Here it is. A little speck on the horizon. Boop. There. Boop. There. There's my car. It's been a hell of a hike. But it was worth it. Pretty, you know, pretty formative hike. But sort of like, yeah, I really. Wilderness bathing, that's what I've done today. Great, great outdoors. Recommend it. If you are watching this video, I prescribe you 30 minutes of the great outdoors today. And it's non-optional, so go get it. Now if my map reading has served me correctly, then my car, is over this corner, over this hill even, lying on this corner. Finish on a run to really, you know, push this hypo to the limits. Oh, fuck, where's my car? Ah, bollocks. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yes, I see it. Hey, baby. Whoop, whoop. <sighs> the one other thing I want to make a note of is two new birds that I've identified through the use of the fantastic app that is BirdNet. If you like birds, download it. It's like a Siri for bird identification. My two birds I've identified here are pipits, which I can still hear now. Meadow pipits, they go tweet, 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 tweet. And the other one are skylarks. I've got a more of a throaty call. Goes. Like that. Like, really throaty. The two big questions that are now, we are all now wondering. Oops. Sorry, lady. Is. Does Joe's car start? And what's his blood sugar? Yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Oh. Woo! I'm going home, baby. Oh my god. Okay, that was the main thing that was stressing me out, was I was gonna have to call a friend. to rescue me up here. You're gonna know before I'm gonna know. Kind of. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck me. I'd say 2.4 is my turning point. Oh, I'm gonna stop recording where I go, you know. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, past Joe, who had 
the I need, I need sugar. Thank you to the past Joe who had the intelligence. I can't speak. This is what it feels like having a blood sugar of 2.4. You can't articulate your mm. Mm. Right. Thank you to the past Joe who was smart enough to leave a juice in the car for in case of emergency hypos. Uh, I need more sugar. This is the TT cross blower. Just, you know. Is he going the right way? Yeah, he's going the right way around. Fuck, I need some sugar. <laughs> Right.